It is intended to provide general information about anaphylaxis to community programs such as schools, licensed child care facilities, and agencies providing respite. After viewing this presentation, you will know what anaphylaxis is, be familiar with common allergens, understand that avoidance is important in managing anaphylaxis, know the signs of anaphylaxis, and how to respond to an anaphylactic reaction. An allergy is the immune system's excessive reaction to a normally harmless substance, called an allergen. At its first exposure to an allergen, the body responds by creating antibodies specific to that allergen. When the body is exposed to the allergen again, these antibodies cause chemicals, such as histamines, to be released. This results in signs such as hives, itching, and swelling. Allergic reactions can vary from mild to life-threatening. Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that is typically rapid in onset. It can result in death due to airway obstruction or a severe drop in blood pressure. It is an extreme total body reaction. The course of a life-threatening allergy can vary from person to person. A life-threatening allergy may be unpredictable and rapid in onset. Anaphylaxis can occur even when a person has previously experienced only minor allergic reactions. A person may experience an anaphylactic reaction without any previous signs of an allergy. Anaphylactic reactions can be triggered by minute amounts of an allergen measured in micrograms. A person can be allergic to any food, but foods that commonly cause severe allergic reactions are peanuts, tree nuts, cow's milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, wheat, sesame, soy, and mustard. Other common allergens that may cause severe allergic reactions are insect stings, medication, and latex. Avoiding allergens is the only way to prevent an anaphylactic reaction. Although it may be difficult to achieve complete avoidance, it is important to reduce the child's exposure to their allergen. Young children are at greatest risk of accidental exposure. The greatest risk of exposure to food allergens occurs when normal routines are interrupted such as field trips, parties, and other special events. Precautions should be taken when changes in routine occur. Schools and licensed child care facilities in Manitoba are required to have an anaphylaxis policy, which includes risk reduction strategies. The most successful strategies enlist the support of the entire community. Some common strategies include Establishing an allergen-aware environment. Supervision of young children while eating. No trading or sharing of food or utensils. Hand washing before and after eating. Cleaning surfaces. And avoiding craft supplies that contain allergens. Talk to your administrator if you have questions about the risk reduction strategies in your community program. When remembering the signs of anaphylaxis, think fast. Face, airway, stomach, total body. Watch for signs that occur suddenly or are obvious changes in appearance or behavior. Signs that may be seen in the face include red watering eyes, runny nose, redness or swelling of face, lips, and tongue, and hives with itchiness. If a person has eaten a food that contains the allergen, hives often appear around the mouth. Signs that the airway is closing include a sensation of throat tightness, hoarseness or other change of voice, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, coughing, wheezing, and drooling. Signs related to the stomach are severe vomiting, diarrhea, and cramps. Signs that might involve the total body are hives with itchiness, feeling a sense of doom, change in behavior, pale or bluish skin, 
dizziness, fainting, and a loss of consciousness. A change in behavior may include the child saying they don't feel right, becoming unusually quiet or withdrawn, becoming suddenly tired, screaming, appearing very agitated, or stop eating in the midst of eating well. When a person is exposed to their allergen, any combination of signs may occur. Signs do not always occur in the same sequence, even in the same individual. An anaphylactic reaction most commonly begins within seconds or minutes of exposure to the allergen, with the majority of reactions occurring within 30 minutes. Epinephrine is the medicine used to treat anaphylaxis. It reverses the dangerous symptoms involved in anaphylaxis and turns off the allergic response in the body. Antihistamines are not recommended in the treatment of anaphylaxis as they will not increase blood pressure or open the airway. If you see any combination of anaphylactic signs and there is reason to suspect that the child has been exposed to their allergen, Give epinephrine immediately and activate 911. If in doubt, treat. A delay in giving epinephrine increases the chances of death. There is no significant concern if epinephrine is given and an anaphylactic reaction did not actually take place. The life saving benefits of epinephrine in cases of suspected anaphylaxis outweigh any small risk of side effects. Children are at higher risk of severe allergic reactions if they also have asthma. For children that are diagnosed with both anaphylaxis and asthma, and there is uncertainty whether they are experiencing an anaphylactic reaction or an asthma episode, epinephrine should always be used first. Epinephrine is available in self-administration devices called epinephrine auto-injectors. Currently, there are two types of epinephrine auto-injectors available in Canada, including the EpiPen and Allerject, or AvaQ. The steps in administering these devices are similar and will be reviewed in the next slides. Epinephrine auto-injectors contain a spring-loaded syringe with a concealed needle. They should always be administered in the outer middle thigh. They are stored in protective tubing at room temperature. They are available in two doses. Epinephrine is clear and colorless. If it appears brown, it should not be used. They are stamped with an expiry date and should be replaced by the parent when expired. It is safe to use an expired epinephrine auto injector if the epinephrine is clear and colorless. It is recommended that the child carry their epinephrine auto injector at all times. If they are not able to do so, it should be carried by the adult responsible for them or kept in an unlocked and accessible location. It is the responsibility of community program staff to be aware of the location of a child's epinephrine auto-injector. When using an EpiPen, secure the child's leg. The child should be sitting or lying down in a position of comfort. If the child is feeling lightheaded or dizzy, they should lie down on their back with their legs raised above heart level. If the child is vomiting, they should be placed on their side. It may be necessary to hold or straddle the child. Infants and toddlers can be held in an adult's lap. Identify the injection area on the outer middle thigh. The EpiPen will penetrate one layer of regular clothes but snowsuits or other bulky clothing should be removed. The middle of the thigh can be found by dividing the leg between the knee and hip into three sections and choosing the middle section. The outer portion of the thigh is found between the outer seam and center crease of a pant leg. Feel the spot with your hand to avoid seams or items in a pocket. Hold the EpiPen in a tight fist without putting your thumb over either end. Remove the safety cap by pulling it straight off. Do not bend or twist it off. Administer the EpiPen by pressing the tip into the thigh at a 90 degree angle until you hear or feel it click. 
Hold in place for a slow count of five to ensure all the medication is injected. Discard the used EpiPen by following the community program's policy for disposal of sharps or give to EMS personnel. The EpiPen has a plastic cover that will extend and lock into place to ensure the needle is not exposed. If this did not occur, check to see if the safety cap was removed and inject again, pressing more firmly. After the EpiPen has been injected, the signs of anaphylaxis should improve within minutes. The child may appear pale, complain of headache, dizziness, pounding heart, nausea, shakiness, or become very quiet. These effects are from the epinephrine and will pass quickly. The steps in using an Allerject or AvoQ are similar to the EpiPen, with a few minor differences, which will be highlighted here. Secure the child's leg. Identify the injection area on the outer middle thigh. Remove it from its outer case. Remove the red safety cap. Firmly press the black tip into the outer middle thigh at a 90 degree angle until you hear it click. Then hold in place for a slow count of five to ensure all the medication is injected. Discard the Allerject or AvoQ as indicated by your community program's policy for disposal of sharps. The Allerject and AvoQ contain an electronic voiced instruction system that guides the user through the steps in administration. The voice recording will begin when the device is removed from its outer sleeve. If the voice instruction does not work, it may still be used. When the red safety cap is removed, the Allerject or AvoQ is primed and must be used or discarded. After it has been administered, the black base locks into place to ensure the needle is not exposed. When a child has an anaphylactic reaction, remember to inject the epinephrine auto injector in the outer middle thigh. Activate 911. Delegate this to a responsible person while you stay with the child and inject the epinephrine auto injector. Contact the child's parent or guardian. A second dose of epinephrine may be administered, if available, within 5 to 15 minutes after the first dose, if symptoms have not improved. Stay with the child until EMS personnel arrive. It is important for community program personnel to know which children in their facility have anaphylaxis, as well as what their life-threatening allergen is and where their epinephrine auto-injector is located. This information can be found in the child's anaphylaxis healthcare plan, which is located at your community program. If you do not know this child-specific information or where to access their healthcare plan, talk to your administrator. It is recommended to use a training device to practice how to give an epinephrine auto injector while viewing this video. Identify the injection area on the outer middle thigh. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling it straight off. Firmly press the orange tip into the outer middle thigh until you hear it click. Then hold in place for a slow count of five. After the EpiPen has been used, the orange end will extend over the needle. Identify the injection area on the outer middle thigh. Remove the Allerject from its outer case. Remove the red safety cap. Press the black tip into the outer middle thigh until you hear it click. Then hold in place for a slow count of five. The Allerject or AvoQ has an electronic voice instruction system, which you will hear now while the demonstration is repeated. Identify the injection area on the outer middle thigh. Remove the Allerject or AvoQ from its case. 
This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. To inject, place black end against outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for 5 seconds. 5. 